everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be using another Mama Elephant set. This is called Pretty Lovely and I absolutely love the design of this stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using some watercolor paper for my card today. So you guessed it. We're going to be doing a little bit more of watercoloring today. And I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my design for my card. So I wanted to use the beautiful, beautiful flower. Um, this is a gorgeous little rose. And I also wanted to use three of the larger sentiments in this stamp set. So I'm using the You Are and the Lovely. Now I want the Lovely to come down in the middle of my stem, but obviously I don't want my stem cutting off in the middle of my sentiment. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick and I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this done before. You can go ahead and ink up your image, but the portion that you do not want to run between your sentiment, you just go ahead and use a paper towel. In my case, I'm going to just use a chamois um, from Lawn Fawn and just erase the ink right in the area that you want to put your sentiment. So now my lovely sentiment is going to fit right between the stem of my flower. So now since I have everything where it needs to be, I can go ahead and close up my Misty Lid and I can press firmly and I'm going to have this beautiful image where I can now put my sentiment right in the middle. See, it's pretty cool, right? I love when the good plan comes together. So now since that is done and my stamping is finished for now, I do want to go ahead and heat set this. So I'm going to just um, use some clear embossing powder that I have in this huge tub. And this way my water coloring is going to stay within my petals. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. And like I said, this is just clear embossing powder. And this is just going to help me to kind of like stay within my design. Since this is kind of an intricate design, I want to just make sure I stay a little bit neat. So now for my image, I'm going to use some zig markers and I just spritzed on some water right onto my craft mat and I'm going to start coloring. So I went ahead and I wet my image first and then I applied some of the lighter pink and I'm just moving that color around very randomly because I just want this to be a soft water colored um, card. I don't want to have um, perfection in coloring this. I just want it to be a nice pretty wash of color. So I'm just laying down a very light wash of that soft pink first. And now I'm going to go in with the darker pink. And that's just going to be some of my shadow areas. And also just to add a really nice pop of pink. So it's just going to brighten up this beautiful flower. And just some of the areas where it would be some overlap or where my petals would be bending. But again, this is just a very loose impression of watercoloring. So I'm just going to start moving that color around with my damp paintbrush. And this just gives me a really nice, soft and pretty watercolored flower. I'm just moving that color around because my paper is still a little bit damp and I'm not using a lot of water on this. So as you see, I did not go into my water puddle, puddle rather that I have on my craft mat. I'm just using the little bit of water that I still have on my brush. I'm just going to finish up a little bit more of adding some of that hot pink in there. And I have a nice soft and pretty watercolor um, card. So I'm now going to clean off my brush just a little bit. And I'm going to add in a little bit of a light green just for my stem. I'm going to go ahead and pull that color down. Now I need to go ahead and place my sentiment in. So I went ahead and grabbed my Misty. And now I'm going to line up that beautiful, lovely sentiment. I really love the sentiments in this stamp set. I love the 
open lettering on this one instead of just the solid lines. I really love how open these letters are. I'm going to go ahead and ink back up my um, sentiment and I'm going to go ahead and close my misty lid and then press down firmly. And I get this beautiful, beautiful sentiment right down the middle of my stem on my flower. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this right back or actually sprinkle on a little bit of that clear embossing powder right over that sentiment because I do want to heat emboss this portion as well. I'm just going to tap off some of the excess and then I can grab my heat gun and go ahead and set that as well. Now I'm not going to be painting inside the lettering, but I do want to go ahead and keep it consistent and have some of that embossed as well. Now for the part of the stem that I had to remove, I'm just going to grab my Copic Multiliner and just add in those lines. So I'm just very carefully just going to finish drawing in the rest of my stem. And I don't really need to be perfect on this because as we know in nature, stems are not um, always straight. They have some movement to them. So I'm just drawing my line in as carefully as I can just to fill in some of those gaps. Now, once that's filled in, I can go ahead and grab my marker and I can go ahead and finish coloring that in. Now that section there, I'm not going to worry about heat embossing. So there's my gorgeous flower. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the card. I went ahead and grabbed some die cuts with a view fuchsia cardstock, and that's going to match perfectly with this gorgeous flower that I have. And I'm going to keep this card really clean and simple and just have some white and the black lettering and this gorgeous flower on my card today. So I'm just going to use my APG gun. Oh, and by the way, I went ahead and I cut both of these out with some stitch rectangle dies. I'm going to layer these right on top of each other, right in the middle. And look how lovely, literally how lovely this card is. A very clean and simple card that you can easily mass produce. Now since I have that all together, I did not want to add any gems. So instead I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops. So I'm just going to um, grab me a piece of paper and get out any air bubbles that I might have in my bottles before I actually bring it to my card because that would be totally the worst if I turned around and I added, um, went straight to my card and I had air bubbles. So I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any air bubbles in my bottles. And then I can go ahead and make myself just a few added decorative um, touches to this card. So I'm gonna add two little black um, enamel dots. And then I'm gonna um, add a couple of pink ones. Now what's so great about the Nouveau Drops is if they have a point right now or a peak, as they dry they will settle back and um, get that roundness that we love about the Nouveau Drops. As they maintain a really nice roundness like a normal um, enamel dot would. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on my last two pink ones. And that is going to be it. A very beautiful and simple card we have today. So this is a card totally finished. And this is the one that is up on my blog. Thank you guys for watching today. I will see you guys soon in another video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like and feel free to share. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.